Well, what's up, friends, family, um, church family, E-fam, B-fam, yep, you heard that. Um, this is, uh, we've, been, we've been doing a lot of videos as, as a church staff and your leadership team and just uh, trying to stay connected and encourage you guys, but um, today, this was just kind of an unscheduled moment here that I felt like I was supposed to do to just sit down um, and hopefully uh, share my heart with you just for a couple of minutes, encourage you, I hope, uh, in the midst of all this craziness, um, and uh, and just and honestly just say, hey, so I hope uh, in the days ahead, uh, no matter what day you end up watching this, that this will uh, really just speak to you and, and encourage you. Um, I'm not sure uh, about you guys, uh, but sometimes you just, you know, God just kind of leads you a certain direction and you just really feel prompted. Um, and I felt like God reminded me of this question and a song. Uh, I'm just going to share a few minutes of it here with you pretty soon. Um, have you ever had an agenda? I think if we're all honest with ourselves, we've all had an agenda at some uh, time. Have you ever had an agenda at work um, or an agenda with your spouse or a relationship, any relationship, uh, an agenda at your church, um, an agenda with your profession and your goals and kind of where you want to see yourself go um, or fill in the blank anything. Uh, for me, I think a good chunk of my life, my agenda has um, been, whether I was acknowledging it or not, has been to try to be the best worship leader or singer I could possibly be. That was a good chunk of my life. Um, I think a lot of the time it was for the Lord. I really do. Um, uh, but not always. Probably not always, if I'm really honest. Uh, but then in October 2019, about six months ago, actually six months ago uh, from right now, um, my intentions, my desires, and my loyalty to God uh, and his call on my life were greatly tested. Um, and my singing halted because of some major issues, which I ended up having surgery and then another procedure later. Um, but I didn't realize how much my identity was attached to my voice, my, my singing voice, um, and how I wanted to use it for God. Um, and the question that I've asked a lot of people hundreds of times since I've been in ministry um, Julie and I not quite there yet. We're que creeping on 20 years of ministry and in marriage, a couple more years there. But um, I ask this question a lot to other people most of the time. I said, if you can't sing, will you still worship? If you can't sing and this is what you do, will you still serve? Will you still serve God? Will you still serve others? Will you still follow Jesus when you can't, when you can't do this, what you've been used to doing and how you've been used to serving? Um, I can't say that through the last six months, my response has always been the best to this challenge and this trial, um, or that uh, I've just always been, oh, no worries, I I'll, I'll be fine. Um, it's been challenging. And then in the last five to six weeks, I've gotta be really honest, I've almost felt guilty about feeling like I've had a rough time because I know many of you are having such a challenging time on so many fronts. Um, and so I felt like God just brought me back to that question and brought me back to this, um, this thing about agendas and where our focus is. Um, but one thing I've learned is if I make the choice to put him first and to spend time in his word, getting his words into me, and then worship him with everything I've got to really worship God with everything I've got, regardless of how I feel or if I can sing, but to still worship, I want to tell you something. He has met me every time. And he will do the same with you. And it's not because he's a vending machine God. It's because he's a relational God. Relational, right? Back and forth, reciprocal, working together in relationship. Um, so again, I come back to the question of the day. Have you ever had an agenda? Do you have an agenda? Um, what if our agenda was simply this? Nothing else matters but my relationship with him. But then it's cool because then my relationship with him leads me into everything else that actually matters, kind of dominoes after him. So I'm going to sing just for a little bit here, and I hope this speaks to you today, speaks to your heart. Um, and just wherever you are, um, allow God to, to speak to you, however he sees fit for you right now.
Take me back to where we started. I opened up my heart to you. I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda. I'm sorry when I forgot that you're in love. Take me back. ourselves that we just want you and nothing else. We give you praise today, God. Amen. Thanks for hanging out.